What's up guys, if you are sick and tired of getting scammed by NBA 2K's packs, make sure to head over to safembamt.com, use code BUGS for 5% off a checkout, and get that cheap, fast, reliable MT that you guys definitely need in this game. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video, and guys, today, we're going to go over our level 39 Hall of Fame badge. Before we get into the video, smash that like button, sub it up if you are new, and comment down below for a chance of winning 100k MT giveaway, guys. We're giving away 100k MT live probably on the stream at 2 o'clock today. So if you guys want to be there on the stream on YouTube, we are going to be streaming on YouTube around 2. We're going to announce the winner on there. And uh, yeah, guys, we're going to go over our level 39 century board. We're also going to go over a little bit, is it worth grinding for Blake? Well, I'll tell you if it's worth grinding for Blake exactly when I do get him about 15k XP. I'm going to try to get him either today or tomorrow, most likely tomorrow or Saturday. But uh, here it is, man. Hall of Fame badge. Here it is, guys. This is crazy. We're 15k XP away from Blake. A couple hundred hour grind, man. I've been grinding like crazy, man. This is on Next Gen, by the way. This is the Xbox um, Series X. So it's amazing, guys. This stuff is its just so much faster, man. If you're impatient... You can no longer be impatient, man. The X is stupid fast. Before I do that, let's look at the dailies. Uh, ooh, Kobe White. Oh, boy. I think I have in my collection, so that's a W. But here we go. Unopened Hall of Fame badge, guys. Hopefully, we get some heat. I really hope we get a range extender. That would be massive. Here it is, boys. Moment of truth. Moment of truth, man. Oh, man. All right. Whatever. I'll take it. Uh, I honestly don't even know exactly what that badge does, but here it is. Uh, improves a player's ability to affect drop step in the post. All right. I guess I could put that on Giannis, right? Fades, aced. This one looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, a lot of badges did change on next gen. So now we're going to go over. Is it worth going for Mr. Blake Griffin? Oh, my Dame sold for 100K. That's an L. So all right. Is it worth going for Blake Griffin? This is our, this is what I think. So realistically, you need so much time and grind. Okay. Honestly, it messes up with my head. And I like it makes you want to play the game a little more is the grind a little bit addicting i'm not gonna lie it kind of is i'm not gonna say it isn't it is a little bit addicting it's kind of fun it's not so bad it's decent okay now do you have you need a lot of mt to do this i'm not gonna lie you do need a lot of mt to actually grind for blake griffin not gonna lie it, it is a little bit of a process you do need a lot of mt because if you don't have a lot of mt you're not going to complete some of the solos uh, last night, guys, I ended up pulling John Havlicek for the second time. I got super lucky, did extra challenges because they did reset. So I was like, you know what? Let me get my original own players. Let's pop some packs. We popped about seven packs. Got John Havlicek, got Haslam, made MT. It's lucky. Never pop packs. But what I'm saying is they did reset these loyalty challenges. I don't know why, but it helps me out, man. They reset them, so I'm happy. I already did 10 of them again. I'm going to try to do the Havlicek ones and then sell him off for a pretty good solid amount. Um, but is it worth the grind overall? It's worth the grind. But do you have the time and do you have the MT? That is the real question. That is a big question, guys. It costs, it's just a lot of time. And I want to know if you guys think all that time is worth it when you could be working on MT. Um, me personally, I like the grind, but at the same time, I don't because I do, it takes a lot of hours to actually get where I am, guys. Like, hundreds of hours hundreds of hours i've been thinking about xp every day i woke up this morning it kind of takes over your life man like i have literally grinded xp every single day i know i'm not the first person to get blake but i'm up there i'm i'm probably top a thousand in the world maybe even top couple hundred but um i don't know man i don't know how i feel about the grind i want to see how good blake is and then i'll tell you let me get that's again guys it is a pink diamond, so he's not an opal. Are they going to be evoable to an opal? Probably not. They'll probably release a curry in a couple months and a Blake in a couple months. That's a galaxy opal. So realistically, we will see. This Blake card will definitely be goaded for a very long time, um, at least two months, because it is Blake, man. He's going to be able to shoot with that range. We'll see, man. Other than that, really, that's all we got for the vid. Today, we will run the stream for the giveaway. And also, not only that, we're going to have market talk. I think and also guys really quickly i actually do want to go over one more thing um where you guys should be for blake griffin okay um you guys should be well we have what 13 days left so if you're at 13 days you gotta have be at least like a hundred something thousand xp i would say like a hundred five thousand xp um and honestly there is a lot more to grind if you only got a hundred five thousand xp do you need a little mt 
So you should be around 105,000 XP with 13 days left, and uh, you should be able. Uh, well, what's five times 10? 50k. So yeah, then you would have to get around four 4,000 XP per day to actually get Blake, which isn't bad. So you would actually clutch Blake the last day. So definitely try that out, man. That is all we got for the vid. Hope you guys did enjoy, man. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one. Peace. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure you hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. I am buying and selling MT. Hit me up right now.